All right, uh, welcome back to the AM Report. We continue our build-up to the manifesto launch of Patrice Mutsipa ahead of the CAF elections, which will be held on the 12th of March in Rabat. That's just in 15 days' time. And I've got with me Elasto Kapueja joining me via our Zoom line. Uh, and uh, he is joining me now from Johannesburg. He's a football analyst, African football journalist, to talk about what we can expect from Patrice Mutsipe. That will be at 11 o'clock at the Santin Convention Center this morning. Elasto, good morning. Thank you so much for your time. I just mentioned that it's just 15 days to the elections and only now Patrice Mutsipe is telling us what he's all about, what he stands for. Is Patrice just cutting it too close to the bone here? Good morning, Benji. Morning to the viewers, of course. Um, yes, the manifesto is going to be unveiled this morning, coming from Dr. Patrice Mutsipe's camp. Uh, you might say that, yes, belatedly so, but maybe uh, him who loves last, loves the most, uh, taking advantage of how close it is and just reminding the voters that, yes, I do have what it takes uh, to be the president of, of CAF. Yes, uh, interesting to see uh, how it will be responded. But I think Benji, uh, Dr. Patterson said he has done enough. Uh, I think he's gone around, he has campaigned very well. Of course, his campaign being led by the, the SAFA president, Denny Jordan, uh, and the government of South Africa as well. Uh, the backing of uh, the Kosafa region coming over the weekend at the annual general meeting to say that we are endorsing uh, Patterson Mutsepe's uh, candidacy. So yes, West African countries, some of them as well, have come in full support, the likes of uh, Amaju Pinik of Nigeria, as well as uh, Aisha Johansson of Sierra Leone. So it seems as if uh, he's a favorite at the moment. If you look at uh, how other candidates uh, a, a little bit, you know, shaking at the moment because I heard that reports are coming from West Africa that Augustine Sengo and uh, Jacques Anuma are contemplating coming together as a united bid. I've never heard of that, but uh, yeah, it just shows that they are feeling the threat that is coming from South Africa. But what can we expect from Mutsipe today as his selling point? What uh, do we expect him to... Uh, give out to whoever African, because we might be there, but we're not the ones who will be voting. It's the FA chiefs. It is the presidents of the 54 different uh, football associations around the continent. What's Mutsipe's selling point? He has to sell. He has to sell good corporate governance, uh, the caliber of Mutsipe, his personality, his achievements, what is done, he comes up as well as somebody who would not be seen as wanting to loot the coffers of CAF, uh, himself being a very successful businessman. Uh, we've seen in the past that even CAF itself at their own admission, uh, requesting FIFA at one stage to help them uh, through their Secretary General Fatima Samura, who was appointed as the CAF uh, uh, General Delegate. So he has to bring that improvement as far as governance is content of CAF. Uh, the commercial side of it as well, uh, CAF is void of the much needed sponsorship that would come uh, from its competition. So he's someone who connected, uh, somebody who's a global uh, figure, who's appealing to everyone. So I think that's his selling point. But um, it's a manifesto. Uh, it has nothing to do with actually what happens on that 12th of March, Benji. Mm. And looking at his, his uh, opponents in this race, Ilasto, I wonder if we can bring up uh, that list of uh, challenges for Patrice Mutsepe that we played a little bit earlier to look at uh, 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 Jacques Anuma of Ivory Coast, Augustine Signor of Senegal, and there's Ahmed Yahya of Mauritania as well. And looking at them, there's some experience there, Ilasto, running football associations of their respective nations, and they are members of the CAF Executive Committee, uh, the two of them, and uh, Jacques Anuma is a former member of the FIFA Council. So they are no slouch in this uh, race. They know exactly what they're doing, and as far as winning elections uh, is concerned, what chance does this leave Patrice, who is, and I say this with all due respect, just a club boss at the moment? Look, I, I, I wouldn't see him 
as just a club boss, but yes, rightfully so, you mentioned and, and described the achievements of some of these uh, opponents uh, in this race. Uh, really, th th these are football people, Benji. These are people that uh, have been running the game at, at, at CAF level, at FIFA level, uh, where you might say Patterson Tsepe has just been a club boss. Maybe that is something that might work against him, but I don't think it's much because when you look at the position of a CAF president, I don't think you're just looking at solely an administrator. You are looking at someone who would unite the country uh, someone else would bring the much needed support financially or otherwise. But yes, the three gentlemen, Ahmad Yaya as well, Benji, we all know him. You know, he was voted uh, the best administrator uh, on the continent uh, at some stage. Also, somebody who's highly, highly uh, admired by, by uh, the FIFA president, uh, Gian Infantino, Augustin Sengo. Uh, he's a man, I can tell you, if you look at what he has done for Senegal, 12 years at the helm. I look at the Wafu region as well. He's been eight years as the president of Wafu region. Jagas Anuma, like you said, yes, is the old guard coming up against the second time around. He wants to enter into the frail. So yes, this is West Africa. But I think they're coming up against a very strong candidate uh, in the like of uh, Dr. Patterson Seppi. And that uh, campaign, as you talk about a strong candidate, it is further strengthened by the support of Amaju Pinik that you mentioned earlier. The Nigerian Football Federation is a good one to have in your corner. It's one of the big ones across the continent. You've got Aisha Johansson from Sierra Leone as well and uh, some other presidents around the, the continent. But the, the leadership of his campaign by Danny Jordan, how important is this and his experience in running for his local uh, FA, and we, we know, although he at some point hasn't been successful, uh, has run for continental uh, uh, seats as well. Yeah, may, maybe that on its own, Benji, if you look at um, uh, the history, the background of uh, Dr. J uh, Dr. Jordan, the uh, SAFA president, uh, several times failing actually to rise to the throne, wanting to bear the FIFA council, but maybe that experience, how he, he lost those, those battles might actually help. And you can see he's in the forefront, that is Dr. Jan Zudan, to make sure that yes, uh, Dr. Patrice Mutsepe receives the support he needs. The government as well, uh, I think has come in full support of Patrice Mutsepe, which is very important. Uh, it has to be seen that the government of South Africa is fully behind uh, Dr. Patrice Mutsepe. So yes, uh, I think the region is where we mentioned how Kosafa, we mentioned its president as well, uh, Dr. Philip Chiangwa. So many doctors these days in football. Then, uh, <laughs> uh, Philip Chiangwa as well, uh, pledging his full support uh, on Patrice Mutsepe. Remember, if this has to happen, that Patrice Mutsepe rises to the throne, I think Philip Chiangwa, you might uh, label him as a kingmaker because he was very instrumental when Ahmad mm. Ahmad toppled uh, Isayatu. Mm. The important question this morning, Ilasto, will be the future of Patrice Mutsepe with Mamelodi Sundowns. It has been questioned uh, since his uh, uh, candidacy was announced. Safa said, under no circumstances will Patrice Mutsepe continue to be the president of Mamelodi Sundowns should he win the CAF elections. As a matter of principle, said the Safa president, should we at least expect him to address this today? I'm, I'm hoping that it will be addressed, uh, Benji. Uh, I think uh, there's also concerns uh, also from the side of the club itself, Mamelodi Sundowns. It's a club that has done very well. We know when he took over Sundowns, I think he had one goal in mind to conquer Africa. And he did that in 2016. Uh, and now, I mean, Sundowns has become a forced record, really one of the better sides on the continent. But yes, the rules of SAFA are clear, but not so much when it comes to CAF rules as to what happens for a club owner uh, in case he gets elected as the as his president. But uh, I think for the good governance that we feel he represents, he might to need to forego his position as the owner uh, and the president of Mamelodi Sundown. So hopefully in his manifesto, you clarify that among so many things that we want to see him clarifying uh, things like women's football that needs to develop infrastructure drive. I feel that he needs to touch on that, Benji, 
because there are so many parts that in so much so many parts of the continent we still are struggling as far as infrastructure is concerned some football matches have to be played in neutral venues so i feel that yes if you can touch on that as well uh, that will also go a long way in making sure that yes we become the force that we need to be as as africa as well as the world cup coming beji in 2026 hopefully you will speak on that the need to see those 10 teams nine or 10 teams uh, that Africa is going to have, whether you will be able to break the jeans mm. and eventually get to the semifinals of the World Cup. As I leave you, Elasto, is Mutipe FIFA President Gianni Infantino's preferred candidate? Yes. I, 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 from where I'm seated, I would say yes. Uh, he was in attendance uh, when Kosafa held their annual general meeting endorsing uh, Dr. Patrice Mutipe. So I feel that he has definitely Infantino would like Patterson Sepe to be president of CAP. Elasto Kapueja, thank you so much for your time. Perhaps uh, very soon we'll also be calling you Dr. Elasto Kapueja. And uh, he is, for now, a football analyst talking to us about uh, the manifesto launch of Patrice Monsepe that's expected a little bit later this morning. 15 days to the CAF elections. And we will, for the first time, hear from Patrice Monsepe.